All right, what's up DVW fam? So we got a treat for you guys today. I know you guys love our barbecue series. So we're at another barbecue gem here in SoCal. We're at Smoke Queen Barbecue. We're founder here, Winnie Yi. Nice to meet you, Dan. Thanks for having the DVW fam. All right, can you please let us know a little bit about your story here? Yeah, so like everybody in the pandemic, I picked up a hobby um, and it just so happened to be smoking. Um, the way that started was during the summer 2020, I don't know if you remember, there was a meat shortage and at Costco, they only allowed uh, you to buy one piece of meat. So of course I chose the largest piece of meat I can find, which happened to be the brisket. So when I went home, I started uh, YouTubing like how to smoke a brisket and you know, how do you cook a brisket? and then, you know, I tried and like everybody else, came out like crap. <laughs> it was all burnt and dry and I just, I couldn't get it right. So I kept on researching and pursuing and got better every week. And one day, you know, I decided to post and on my Facebook and I, I sold the whole brisket. So since then, I've just been, you know, smoking and selling, smoking and selling. Right now we're at um, Smorgasburg LA every Sunday from 10 to 4 p.m. or unless we sell out earlier and we are in the middle of building a brick and mortar restaurant inside in a Garden Grove. Awesome. So right now if you guys want to find them it's at Smorgasburg LA. It's a huge food market. It's really fun so find her yeah. there. But And I also heard that your brisket and your pork char siu were out of this world. Can you let us know a little bit about that? So brisket is king when it comes to Texas style barbecue and traditionally they use a Dalmatian rub which is black pepper and salt. Um, I decided to do, a little bit, do it a little bit differently because when I first started I've never had authentic Texas style barbecue and um, I didn't want to imitate something I didn't know. So I decided to put the seasonings and the spices that I'm familiar with and, and that I'm comfortable with. And so till this day, we are still using my own proprietary rub. It's a mixture of salt, pepper, garlic, paprika, and you know, some other stuff in there. Yeah, you don't have to reveal the secrets. <laughs> and, and the pork belly, I just was just playing with being creative um, and I thought, you know, char siu is Cantonese style barbecue. I am Chinese and, you know, we love our char siu. So why not smoke it with an American smoker? So that's how I started this East meets, East meets West barbecue thing. And, you know, it's taken off and my customers love it. Awesome. That sounds delicious. All right. Can't wait to try it. All right. Let me show you guys some meat. All right. Let's check it out. Nothing like a hot facial. <laughs> we got pork butts smoking right here. They're looking really nice. Then I've got some briskets here. These are coming out really nice. Yeah, these have been on since about six, seven hours. Wow. Yeah. They still have a long way to go. Because you, if you touch the top, this is a, I don't know if you're familiar with like the anatomy of the brisket, but this is a, a fat cap right here. Yes. And so when the fat cap is still tight like this, it's not done. Awesome. Yeah. So you definitely have to put your love and care into each one of these briskets, right? Yes, yeah, so you really have. Listen, I can give you the recipe and I can tell you exactly what to do, but you may not be able to replicate it because smoking is, it, this is, this is like a huge oven but it's very analog. It's not like the oven in your kitchen where it's like ding and everything is done. You've got to look at each every each individual piece. Um, every 45 minutes or, or so, we rotate the, the meats so that you know if one piece is cooking faster than the other, it gives the other one a chance to catch up. So you know we don't really use a thermometer anymore. We actually just go by feel now.
Wow. Look at that. Smoking. A test to tell whether a brisket's done nicely or not is when you slice it and it holds its weight but yet it's very pliable like this. Mm. So you know when you put this in your mouth it's just gonna melt. Fatty okay side. so this side is the point also known as the fatty side of the brisket and there's two muscles in the cut of brisket. It's actually the breast of the cow and they run in opposite directions. That's why when you saw me slice it I had to turn the fatty side perpendicular or 90 degrees and slice it against the grain. Now this side is the flat side or the, the lean side of the brisket and the, the grain runs this way so I'm just going to slice it this way against the grain. And for me my favorite slice is in the middle because you get the best of both worlds show you here so this is the point uh, this is the flat it's a very lean cut but there's a lot of connective connective tissue and then the top is where the fat cap is the fat cap we actually have to trim out and that actually helps the uh, the, the flat stay juicy and tender because all that fat just melts into it This is our pulled pork, and there's no secret to this. It's just good quality pork, smoke, and time. This takes about 12 to 14 hours, depending on the size. This particular one has a bone in. We always try to use bone in pork butts. Fun fact, the butt is actually the shoulder of the, <laughs> the pig, mm. not the actual butt. Mm. The ham is the butt. Okay, so I don't know, I didn't make up the rules. But I like to use this bone to kind of, you know, pull the meat together. Or pull, I mean, sorry, pull the meat apart. That you can see here. And see all the, all the juices here. It gets reabsorbed into the meat. All right, DVW fam, look at this huge barbecue platter right here that Winnie whipped up for us. So these are some of the typical sides and barbecue meats you could get at Smorgasburg, but these are extra servings. So you're gonna have to check out the menu for how the plates look at Smorgasburg. She's there every Sunday at Smorgasburg, LA. She doesn't miss a Sunday. So yeah, that's where you can find this, but whoo, the smell is insane. Chinese Malaysian fusion American barbecue. We got to start off with the char siu right here. Oh man, look at this. Oh, it's dripping. It's nice, thick bark on the outside. Woo! Got no more words. Let's try it out. Mmm, gosh. Wow, the flavor's insane. Perfectly balanced, not too salty. Like when you smoke char siu like this, the fat and the meat tissue is just, it's like candy. You bite into it, it's perfectly balanced. Even the fat is not too like gelatiny. It's just tastes like a piece of meat candy. It's delicious. Mm. A little bit sweet. The texture is insane. It's just tender throughout. And then it just pops 
with the fat. So you got that lean meat, a little bit of fat, more fat on the outside and that crispy bark. Ooh, this is all about the textures and the flavors. This is literally fire. <laughs> mm. And the piece of fat is where all the flavor is. So if you guys want that sweet barbecue flavor, just take a big chunk of that fat. Ooh, let's uh, wash it down with some of this mac and cheese right here. Mm. You gotta have the American sides when you're eating barbecue nice and cheesy. All right, palate cleanse for more barbecue. Let's try this pulled pork right here. Oh yeah, I'm gonna chew it. Smells in your mouth, really smoky. All right, woo. So this is the king right here. Brisket is king. So Winnie served us up two pieces of the brisket. Which one is the fattier and one is leaner? I think this is the middle leaner piece. Let's see. Let's take a bite of this. Mmm. Mm, God. Oh yeah. So this one's the leaner piece, but then when you get to the outside, there's a nice fat cap on the outside where the bark is right here. Ooh, so it's nice and lean on the side, and then you get that nice tender, juicy fat cap right there. Mm. Super tender and smoky. Ooh. All right, let's try this one right here. This one has more of like a bend. Look at this. So this is like, I would say the more fattier piece. Let's try this out. Oh, no. That's money right there. That's the one that I prefer. So some people like their brisket more lean, but I prefer all the fat, you know, equally distributed through the meat fibers right here. You get all the juiciness and the flavor throughout this brisket. Oh, amazing. Mm. Mm. Wow, so flavorful. It just melts in your mouth, look at this. Mm. I don't even have to cut it. It just melts in your mouth. Oh yeah, that is just so fatty, juicy flavorful so rich in flavors oh but um i also like that it's not like too overpowering it's not too peppery spicy like it's just balanced and i guess like i guess it's like an asian thing because asian people usually say like oh they don't like their food too sweet or too salty it's just this is exactly how i like my brisket flavor is balanced on point mm. I guess pun intended, because this is the brisket point. So yeah, after all those rich fatty flavors of the meat, let's cleanse our palate with some of this slaw. Mmm. I can even say this slaw is like Asian fusion too. It's like um, some sesame's on there. It kind of tastes like a chicken Chinese salad, but without the chicken. <laughs> DVW score for this char siu right here. 10 out of 10, my favorite. The brisket. I would say 9.5 out of 10. It's amazing. The thing about Winnie's Smoke Queen Chinese Malaysian Fusion Barbecue is just the flavors, like the Asian Fusion flavor. But unfortunately today, she didn't have her barbecue sauce, but that's where she says that, that she has like that bean curd flavoring. So if you guys want more of that Asian touch on it, you could use the sauce there. But yeah, if you're ever at Smorgasburg, you tried there, but they didn't have that here today, but all the meat, you could tell, was made with love. It's just really tender, juicy. That's all you can ask for. Brisket, you know, barbecue for the meat to just be tender. That's my, in my opinion, that's my requirement for a good brisket, for it to just be really fall apart, juicy. And it is, and this pork char siu right here, amazing. The texture on this, insane. You gotta try this, my favorite one here, like candy. Sweet, juicy, flavorful, voila. All right guys, that's it for this barbecue feature. I know you guys love the SoCal barbecue series. So we're gonna go to much more. So stay tuned. If you guys like this video, please like it. Comment down below where you wanna see us next and subscribe for more DBW food vlogs. Deuces.